Hello everyone, welcome to my new lesson video. In this video, I will be discussing the evaluation and operations of functions. I am your teacher, Sir Mark LaRoya. In evaluation of function, it is the same as determining the value of our function given the value of our x. So for example, let's say our function f of x is equal to x plus 3. And we have the value for x that would be equal to negative 2, 0, and 4. So it means that we're going to determine the value of our function if our x is equal to negative 2, or 0, or 4. So first, let's say if our x is equal to negative 2, our function now can be noted as f of negative 2 equals, all you have to do is to simply substitute the value of x to our function, so it becomes negative 2 plus 3. So the f of negative 2 is equal to 1, meaning the value of our function will be equal to 1 if our x is equal to negative 2. Next, if x is equal to 0, it becomes now f of 0 equals 0 plus 3. So it will give us an answer f of 0 equals 3. And lastly, if our x will be equal to 4, our f of x now becomes f of 4. So f of 4 is equal to 4 plus 3 or f of 4 is equal to 7. So this is how we evaluate our function. Another example for evaluation of function, let's say our f of x is a trinomial, x squared minus 2x plus 5, and then our x will be equal to 1 and 3. The procedure is just the same. All you have to do is to substitute the value of your x to your function. So if x is equal to 1, that means f of 1 will be equal to 1 squared minus 2 times 1 plus 5. And simplifying this, we will have f of 1 is equal to 1 minus 2 plus 5. So f of 1 will be equal now to 4. So that means the value of our function is equal to 4 if our x is equal to 1. And then, if x is equal to 3, same procedure, f of 3 now will be equal to 3 squared minus 2 times 3 plus 5. Simplifying this, f of 3 is equal to 9 minus 6 plus 5. And that will give us f of 3 is equal to 8. Meaning, the value of our function, if x is equal to 3, is 8. Let us now proceed with the operations of functions. In operations of functions, we consider, let's say, we have two functions, f of x and g of x. All we have to do is simply do the four basic operations. We have the addition of functions. So that is f plus g of x, or that is equal to f of x plus g of x. The second one is the subtraction of functions, that is f minus g of x, or the same as f of x minus g of x. The third one is the multiplication of functions, f times g of x, or that is f of x times g of x. And lastly, we also have f divided by g of x, or that is f of x divided by g of x. So let us now do the operation of functions, specifically the addition of functions. So we have f of x that is equal to x plus 5, and another function g of x which is equal to x minus 2. Let us now get the sum of the functions, so that is f plus g of x, or simply f of x plus g of x. So f of x plus g of x is simply the f of x, x plus 5, plus the g of x, x minus 2. 
So if we're going to uh, eliminate the parenthesis sign or the parenthesis, nothing will be changed in terms of signs. So this is equal to x plus 5 plus x minus 2. So our f plus g of x will simply be equal to 2x plus 3. So this is now the sum of our functions. Now, if we do the g plus f of x, the answer should be the same as of f of x plus g of x. Since the operation is addition, no signs will change or the signs will not change because the operation is addition. So it's just the same as x minus 2 plus x plus 5. So we have x minus 2 plus x plus 5. So g plus f of x is the same as our f plus g of x which is 2x plus 3. Let us now proceed with the subtraction of functions. Let's say we have f minus g of x or that is f of x minus g of x. So first, let us first write the first function, the f of x that is x plus 5 minus the g of x which is x minus 2. In this operation, the subtraction will be distributed to the two terms of our g of x. So that means this becomes now x plus 5 minus x plus 2. So the negative sign is distributed to x and negative 2. That is why they, be they become negative x plus 2. Simplifying this, our f minus g of x now will be equal to 7. Now, f minus g of x is not the same as g minus f of x. Let us now do the g minus f of x or g of x minus f of x. Our first function now will be the g of x which is x minus 2 minus the f of x that is quantity x plus 5. And again, the subtraction or the negative sign will be distributed to the f of x. So this becomes now x minus 2 minus x minus 5, which will give us a difference equal to negative 7. Let us now proceed with the multiplication of functions. Let's say we have two functions, f of x is equal to x plus 5, and another function g of x is equal to x minus 2. f times g of x is the same as f of x times g of x. So, we simply multiply the function x plus 5 with the g of x, x minus 2. This is the same as multiplying two binomials using FOIL method. So, we will now have x squared minus 2x plus 5x minus 10. What I did here is I do the FOIL method. So, the f times g of x is equal to x squared plus 3x minus 10. So, this is the product of our functions. Take note that f of x times g of x is the same as g of x times f of x. Another example for multiplication of functions, we have f of x is equal to x plus 4 and another function g of x is equal to x minus 4. So let us now get the product of the functions. f of x times g of x is equal to x plus 4 times x minus 4. Using the FOIL method, we will have x squared minus 4x plus 4x minus 16. By combining like terms, we can simplify this product now equal to x squared minus 16. So this is the product of our functions f of x and g of x. 
we proceed now with the division of functions. Let's say we have f of x is equal to x plus 4 and g of x is equal to x minus 4. f divided by g of x is the same as f of x divided by g of x, or that is f of x over g of x. So if we're going to follow this format, our f divided by g of x is equal to x plus 4 all over x minus 4. This is now our final answer since we, uh, there's nothing to simplify between the two functions f of x and g of x. Now, g divided by f of x is also equal to g of x divided by f of x. So if we're going to rewrite this, this becomes g of x over f of x. So, our numerator now will be the g of x, that is x minus 4, all over our denominator f of x, which is x plus 4. So this is how we do the division of functions. Let us now get the quotient of our functions using different given. f of x now is equal to x squared plus 6x plus 8, and our g of x is equal to x plus 4. So if we're going to get f divided by g of x, that is equal to f of x all over g of x. Rewriting this, we will have our numerator is x squared plus 6x plus 8, and the denominator is x plus 4. To simplify this, we must factor out our numerator or get the factors of our numerator that is x plus 2 times x plus 4. So that will be x plus 2 times x plus 4 all over x plus 4. As you can see, x plus 4 will be cancelled out, leaving us with x plus 2. So that means the quotient of our function or f of x over g of x is equal to x plus 2. Another example would be this. f of x is equal to x squared plus 5x plus 6. And our g of x is x squared plus 2x minus 3. This time, we will get the g divided by f of x, or that is g of x divided by f of x. We must be careful to identify which is our numerator and our denominator. So in this case, it's g of x as our numerator and the f of x as our denominator. So we will now have x squared plus 2x minus 3, that is our g of x, and our denominator will be the x squared plus 5x plus 6. We can simply, we can get the quotient of this by getting the factors of each of the uh, numerator and the denominator. So for our numerator, that is x plus 3 times x minus 1. And for our denominator, that is x plus 3 times x plus 2. As you can see here, we can cancel out the x plus 3, leaving us with x minus 1 in our numerator and x plus 2 in our denominator. So, the quotient now, or our g of x over f of x, is equal to x minus 1 over x plus 2. So that is how we do the operations of functions using the addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So thank you very much for watching this lesson video and I hope you learned something new about the operation of function as well as evaluation of function. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and kindly like and share this video to your friends and classmates. See you again next time.